welcome all of you myself like ur rahman today we are going to study another topic in threats to biodiversity that is man wildlife conflict so basically what is man wildlife conflict it is conflict between humans and wildlife organisms it is unacceptably disadvantages to each other now increase in man wildlife conflict is basically due to resource limitations like space food and shelter it is also due to increasing population of human beings loss of forest decrease in quality of forest and development activities crops like sugarcane and tea estates are reported to provide excellent covers for wild animals there are about 661 protected areas in the country covering about 4.8% of geographical areas there are 100 national parks 315 wildlife sanctuaries and 43 conservation resources and four community reserves in the country a conflict of words in this you one side they reporting can harm wildlife that is why it is called as a conflict of words the headlines are invariably pro provocative menace threat fear etc in 99.9% of these cases with the exception of deliberation stalking and predation on humans by big cats it's never an aggressive attack by the animal the animal gets cornered surrounded by people such as big cats or faces an abrupt encounter at short range because of the poor senses such as elephant elephants and bears and they get attacked and they attack out of fear as you can see man has started conducting agricultural practices in forest areas by cutting trees and other vegetations so this will lead to the less space or less habitat for wild animals another re reason is overgrazing by livestock and tree logging is also the major issue which causes loss of habitat for wild animals and it leads them to come into human population in india wild elephants probably kill more people than tiger leopard or lion damage to agriculture crops and properties and killing of life livestock and human beings are some of the worst forms of man animal conflicts farmers sometimes poison or shoot wild animals as they damage their crops but this can be prevented by taking certain measures there is a data yearly record in which you can see the ratio of man animal conflict you can see in this image very clearly an elephant attacking a farmer these are also some of the images of man wildlife conflicts which occurs normally now and then what leads to them changes in agro cropping pattern decline in prey population reduction in wildlife habitat and presence of stray dogs and cattle in forest buffer areas are the major reasons for man wildlife conflict in our country such conflicts often result into the following outcomes such as frequently enter the residential areas the wild animals or wild cats they frequently enter the human population or human residential areas and they prey on domestic livestock causing damage to farmers economically also and loss of livestock too and third is the collision or accidents which occurs on the roads 
due to car accidents between cars and wild animals now what are the ways to reduce such conflicts government is working on improvement of habitat to augment food water and availability and to reduce the movement of animals from the forest to the habitations training forest staff and police to take these situations and create awareness among the people about the do's and don'ts to minimize these conflict is also one of the way and construction of boundary walls and fences around the sensitive areas to prevent the wild animals attack is also one of the way which we can reduce the man wildlife conflict so students you all must have understood what is man wildlife conflicts and what are the ways which we can prevent these conflicts in future thank you